is a life-size mousetrap. It's a machine. It took 15 years to build a crazy man's dream. The people who made it, they are no fools, they know. Science and engineering are really cool. It's a chain reaction. It's a main attraction in this set of complex mechanisms. You can laugh or you can do the math if you, if you know the equation. Do you know the equation? Engineering in the pyramids, it all started with the wheel. Look how far we've come. With the lever, the wheel, an axle, pulley, the wedge, and the screw. There's so much you can do. This is a life-size mousetrap, and it's art. Go from recycle park, from Ace Junkyard. The people who made it, they are no fools, they know. Science and engineering are really cool. It's a chain reaction. It's a main attraction in this set of complex mechanisms. You can laugh or you can do the math if, if you know the equation. I don't know the equation. I don't even know how to set up a drum kit, apparently. Um, Anyway, who, who out there is an engineer? All right, one engineer. Do you think, sir, that you know the equation for the mouse trap? I don't know, I know someone who definitely does. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the mastermind, the man, some might say the madman, the mechanical engineer. The amazing Mr. Man Behind the Mousetrap. Sometimes we just call him Mr. Mousetrap, and he's married to a mouse. He made this trap and caught her. And yes, he did make this amazing contraption. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mark Perez. Wow, what an introduction, folks. Hey, we've been having a great time in here for two days. We have had five successful Rube Goldberg chain reactions so far. That's five successful chain reactions. All right, this is a life-size mousetrap. It does weigh 50,000 pounds. It takes us five days to assemble and two days to break down. And if we do not load it correctly into that semi-trailer, we cannot shut the doors. <laughs> I got my own version there, which uses the gantry winch, which has a bowling ball attached to that blue and white rope. They're going to lift that ball up there. There you go. Is that it? That is set, isn't it? All right, then we go over here to the think sign. That's the second piece. The third piece is the hammer, which I just described a little bit earlier. That think sign rolls over, moves that little hammer, which then hits the spring, releasing its force up into the big hammer, which then hits the boot, and the boot hits the bucket on top of the crazy stairs, where Moses, right now, is going to climb 13 death-defying feet in the air with one regulation eight-pound bowling ball to load into the crazy stairs. Okay. All right, there it is, and now he's going to wind the mousetrap. That's for good luck, folks. We have to do that every time to make this Rube Goldberg chain reaction work. Okay, when the ball rolls down them stairs, you might notice there's some numbers there. We need a little bit of help. Every time that ball hits a step, I guys want you to yell out those numbers. As it makes its way down there, we have Kelly right now, who is going to defeat a counterweight on the ball lifter. The ball lifter shall then do its action going up there to the cornucopia, which is on top of a lamppost. And you'll notice Brad right there, he is setting the mouse trapeze where we use over 400 pounds of counterweight to move one bowling ball less than three feet. <laughs> All right, when the ball rolls down that little loop-de-loop, -loop, it makes its way to the hand. You might notice at the top, the guy's already pre-set a bowling ball 18 feet in the air. 
The ball then rolls down that chute and then hits that cast iron bathtub, which does weigh 350 pounds, and I invite each and every one of you to help me load it into that trailer on Monday morning. All right, when the ball rolls out of there, it hits the seesaw, which does its classic fulcrum movement. Then releasing down the guy, which you might notice is being raised to his perch. When he falls from his perch, he shall fall into the wash tub. And then from the wash tub, we have our last trigger we call Mr. Stumpy. Long ago, I had a big block of wood, but that kind of dried out and we had to get rid of that. So you might notice now, Brad's setting that, and we hold that up with a stick. Does anybody remember catching birds with a box and a stick? Did anybody do that? It's kind of old school. You've done that before? So you got a box, you put some bread out, you got a string and a stick, and the bird flies in. Try it someday. It's like the low tech thrill. All right, you might notice that one cable that goes up there, that goes to a release shackle, releasing our two ton safe to fall on top of this Chevy Astro van. That's, of course, we're at the Henry Ford, and they didn't want us to crush a Ford, so we're going for Chevy. But of course, the Ford would actually resist the force of the two-ton safe, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, the safe would probably bounce off. <laughs> All right, so this is the last part. All the triggers are set, and I am nervous. I am so nervous, we need to figure out who is going to start the life-size mouse trap. This machine runs on your enthusiasm, so let's hear it. Yeah! All right, all right. Now, this is simple. You might remember the board game. You used to have to turn the crank, and everyone is supposed to yell mouse trap. But we're going to do the same thing. So what's going to happen, I'm going to count to three, and everyone here is going to yell mouse trap. Everyone understand? That's right. OK, are we ready over here on my right? Are we ready over here? That's good. How about over here on my left? All right. How about in the middle? I think the middle one, folks. All right. OK, we're ready to start this. Are we ready inside here, Brad? We ready? Moses, we ready? Esmeralda, we ready? Shh. One, two, three. Yeah, let it roll. All right, you might see the old crank. Oh, it's kind of stuck there. You don't see that, folks. It's moving, trust me. All right, a little grease. There it is. All right, it's rolling down the gantry. Winch is moving. The think sign is going over right now. <sighs> OK. Uh. Yes! There it is, folks. What is that? 13? We got two number 13s. Wow. No, that's 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, wait for it, folks, 3-ish, 2, ball lifter folks. Gravity in action right here. Ah. Yeah. All right, this is a Rube Goldberg chain reaction going to the mousetrap piche. Oh, there it is. There it is folks, look up high, we're going for the bathtub. Clunk. It does cost $3 a mile to move a semi-trailer, so if you give us a little help, that'd be great.